Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry. We've got uh, today and tomorrow, and then hopefully I should be able to edit videos. Woo! So we might go back to a little bit more like it was before. Um, but I've kind of enjoyed the one takes. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, we've been going through and we've been talking about one set of scripture in particular, Luke 22 verses 31 and 32, which say, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he may sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. I wanted to talk about the elephant in the room in this one. Satan has demanded to have you. And I think sometimes we, as Christians, we, we give Satan way too much power. He only has power that we give him. He's not a roaring lion. You know, he, he walks around like he is one, but he's not one. And so in this case, though, we see Satan demanded to have you in order to sift you like wheat. And for whatever reason, he's going to win. Jesus even knows this, that he's going to win this. So was this Satan's power? Was this what was going on? And I think we need to look at the context here. Jesus is about to go before the, um, the council. He's about to go before Pilate. And he's about to get crucified. And the goal here was he had to be stripped of every comfort that he had. And in order for that to happen, he had to see the failure of his disciples. Whenever Jesus is taking in, taken in, they're all scattered. We only see one at the cross, and that's John. And we see Peter denying him three times. You know, like we, we all of a sudden, this isn't really, whenever it says that, Satan has demanded to have it's because this sacrifice that's about to be made you know it had to be like he was trying to tempt God in every way this isn't a testament of how strong the devil is this is a testament to how much Jesus did in order to show you that he loves you he didn't have any comfort there there was no comfort other than the faith that it took to know that God the Father was going to take care of him and that through this sacrifice that he was going to gain all of his brothers and sisters and that he was going to have the key to Hades, the key to hell. And so that being said, you know, like in the moment whenever the sun gets blotted out and that, you know, like they, you know, Jesus has had his back, uh, like uh, God's back is turned on Jesus and that there is separation there. And that's why he says, Father, Father, why have they forsaken me? He, he couldn't have any hope around him. And Peter is a sign of hope and a sign of faith. And, you know, like Jesus kind of stokes this fire of hope and faith in him by saying, look, whenever you've returned again, strengthen your brothers. And I just, I'm just kind of amazed that, you know, sometimes we give Satan so much more power than he deserves. This was all just to show that Jesus, he was perfect. And that being said, let's not give the devil any more power than what, than what God did, which was none. Right? Let's make it to where, you know, we can say, look, devil, you're walking around like a roaring lion, but I'm no Simon. I'm Peter. And you know what? I stand here in the place. I stand here and I live as Christ. And you have got no power over me. So thank you all for taking a minute.